welcome back to my channel Welshman Reviews. Today I thought I'd do something a little bit different on the channel where I normally do Blu-rays, 4Ks, uh, collectors, items and all that but I've been on a bit of a splurge lately on um, DVD collectors edition stuff and I've picked up, oh, what have I got but I one, two, three, I got four beer which I will be doing videos for in the week and I actually have another two come in as well um, but the first art I thought I would do show off the Spaghetti Western Collection tin set so Matt V's uh, Matt over at Matt V Movies has um, done a few DVD collectors thing, uh, thing so I am piggybacking off that as I hope he doesn't mind it ain't but these sets are absolutely stunning and it's kind of an appreciation video really for the old the old DVD uh, sets I used to come out because to be honest as much as I love the Blu-ray and the 4k sets of today like these days some of the old DVD sets and all that are amazing I do have a couple in my collection and all I think I've shown a couple off um, on my weekly pickups and all I have got the I think I've done the back Blade Runner one uh, tin set a Star Wars tin set I do have another Star Wars tin set come in as well I do and I think I've done the uh, El Match uh, the Robert Rodriguez trilogy of Desperado once upon a time in Mexico and El Mariachi um, collector set as well that nice little set as well so yeah I have got a few DVDs now in my collection and all that and when I saw these ones up on eBay, I couldn't resist picking them up. And they're pretty much pretty cheap. I think I picked this up one up for like just over a 10. And most of them were just just under a 10 or just over a 10. There is one which I will show in a later video, which I did spend 30 quid on. But it's such a stunning set. I, I couldn't resist. But let's go and take a quick, uh, a closer look at this beauty. So let's get that closer look going. So first of all, we have the tin set. So we have a bit of a nice picture on a thing from the good, the bad, and the ugly. This is the three-way Mexican standoff. I think that's Lee Van Cleef's character, and that's got to be Clint Eastwood. It is, but yeah, very nice picture and all. I love how dark, or not dark, but you know, the colouring of this picture. Like it's a very bright, sunny day, it is. So it's pretty much the same on your, get the movies, fistful of dollars, a few dollars more on the good, the bad, and the ugly. And the same picture, a little bit faded that one has because this is second hand after all it is but it's in pretty good nick to be honest uh, a few little marks on the back but nothing uh, too bad and all it is a thick uh, steel book uh, not steel book but a tin set to be honest so let's open it up and get the collector set out so nothing else inside but a very chunky uh, one for this pretty much the same picture as the other one Except you have a bit of a write up on the back. Uh, Clint Eastwood, but I'm ashamed to say this, to be honest. But I've only found out in the last year or so that these films have nothing in common. It's not the same character out of them all. I honestly thought they were a sequel to each other and all. Especially the last year when you have Van Cleef, uh, Lee Van Cleef in both of these as well. But yeah, totally nothing uh, nothing uh, connects them at all, except for the acid. A couple of the same actors and the same director, it is. But. Yeah, very surprised with that. A lot of people probably knew that it was. But yeah, very. Uh, I was surprised when I heard that. But yeah, very nice out the cover. Like I said, same as the tin. And then we get the uh, very long with a lot of DVDs in it. So we get a load of DVDs. So obviously that's disc one couple of DVD ones but that it is all region 2 so it plays on the British ones and there's two CD uh, discs for the second movie it is I like that there's no same pictures on any of them and then right at the end here we go back again we have for the good the bad and the ugly as well it is so very nice indeed, and then we get a beautiful artwork again for behind the scenes of scenes from all the movies. Then as well, 
but that is absolutely stunning indeed it is and um, we do get a nice little booklet as well for all three movies and a little write up about each each one and uh, scene selection chapter things and stuff so yeah very nice to see in this set as well it is and you do get a picture of Clint but there as well in the slot and then if we turn this around we get some more pictures pretty much from the movies again I don't know whether these are all from the good the bad and the ugly or separated over the couple of the movies it is but like I said absolutely stunning artwork and yeah you don't see sets like this that much anymore I think and that's why I said that's why I thought I'd do a little video about it it is so let's put all the discs back in which I probably I have totally cocked it all up with what I said each disc is because the first lot was the good the bad and the ugly the middle ones were a few dollars more and uh, the last ones was for a fistful of dollars so it was backwards in this set but that is an absolutely stunning set and as much as I did want to get these on 4K, I actually think the picture for the movies that they are, I think the DVD graininess and all that will work a bit better for for this type of video. But yeah, absolutely stunning thing. And yeah, I love this set. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below and tell me what you thought. Uh, if you still collect DVDs or these type of sets, and that or what you're going to get if you're going to get any in future and if you'd like to see more videos i guess please subscribe to my channel i will see you next time